Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, another new week, another new video, another brand new video. You probably realise, guys, when you've clicked on the thumbnail, we're heading to Campbelltown. Uh, was there earlier in the year, and I managed to pick up a few bottles whilst I was there. This happened to be one of them. This is the Hazelburn, triple distilled, 12-year-old, fully matured in all the Rosal casks. It's coming in at an ABV of 49.9 and is one of 9,000 bottles. So, yes, I'm not going to dwell too much on Campbelltown. I'm not going to dwell too much on Springbank. We all know the story. We have talked about it many times in the past. Just going to dive in. Guys, I'm just going to nose this, taste it and score it and get myself out of here. It has been covered up for the last hour or so with Whiskey Friend Coins, guys. There is a handful left, so when you pick up some coins, have a check out in the description. I'll pop up the links in there how you get a hold of them. No messing around, guys. This is 12-year-old in all the Rosal casks, 9,000 bottles, 49.9% ABV. For all you geeks out there, guys, the bottle and code in this one was the 17th of November, 2022. And I managed to pick it up at the distillery in 2023 for £70. So let's nose it. So there's that beautiful, beautiful sherry stuff. Rich, fresh, clean sherry. Some dried fruit, some dark fruit, some raisins, dates, a little bit of fig. There's a lovely spiciness going through this as well, with a little bit of ginger kicking around. But it has that that wonderful earthiness that, that the Campbelltown whiskies tend to bring. Lovely and earthy. There's a little bit of that funky, deep down in the back of the nose, there's that funky, dank, musty thing that you get from Campbelltown particularly in spring banks. Some nice oakiness, lovely little hint of wood right in the back. But it also has that wonderful sea salt coastal thing going on. Real, real engaging nose, really easy to sit back in nose. If I was being honest, guys, I have sat here for the last half hour just nosing it. Lovely spice, lovely salty sea salt thing. But the sherry... The sherry's wonderful, it's clean, it's bright, it's fresh, it's rich, lovely. So, guys, let's dive in and let's taste it. Down the hatch. Cheers, folks. Mmm. Okay. It comes in nice and spicy. 49.9, you probably think it may be a wee touch higher than that, but it says on the bottle, so we have to take it. It's 49.9, but it's got a lovely spicy arrival. Some ginger, some pepper, it just peppers the tongue. But the mouthfeel is lovely. It's it's textured, it's velvety. Dare I say smooth, but it's it's lovely, lovely thick. Velvety mouthfeel. Wouldn't say it's oily, but it has a really, really nice texture to it. The spice comes in, the ginger, the pepper, and then that's followed up by the, those, those fruits, those dark fruits, those dried fruits, that sherry influence. Bit of prune, maybe a little bit of plum in there as well. Some dark berries, blackberry. Maybe the raisin and, and maybe black currant. I'm getting mixed up with the raisin and the black currant. I think they might both be there. But as it develops, guys, it comes in spicy and velvety. And then it, as it goes in through the, the, the mid palate, it becomes a wee bit more sweet. Sweet vanilla notes. But it also becomes like a sticky caramel, sticky dark toffee. Maybe a soft toffee. But it's berry fruit. It, it's It's... Sweet, it's got a nice sweetness to it without being overly sweet. That earthy stuff, that kind of balance there is keeping it nice. It is wonderfully balanced. The fruit, the prunes, the dates, the figs, sweet toffee, sticky toffee, that wonderful sweet vanilla is there as well. 
berry fruit, blackberry, black currant, might be a touch of raspberry in there, maybe a touch of apricot. But yeah, there's some nice fruit things going on. Did I say this was easy to sip, guys? Let me just double check. Let's do a little research. Have another sip. I have that 49.9% ABV. It's a wonderful, wonderful ABV for me. This is always, I think they're all, all the hazel bombs, the 12s, the 13s, they're all around about that kind of 49, 50, 51%. I think it's great for those, that whiskey. Fantastic stuff. No need for water with this one for me. Guys, yes, if you like to put your water in it, then feel free. I don't think for me there's any need to put any water in it. I'm just loving it as it is. Let's do a little bit for the finish. Just before I do the finish, guys, just head into the finish. There's a nice little licorice note coming in there now as well. Little sticky toffee, a little bit of licorice, a little bit of ginger. The fruits there, the dark fruit, dried fruit. Wow, wonderful. Prunes, dates. Let's do the finish. Wow. So nice. Did I see how easy it was, guys? It's super easy to sip. This could easily become another dangerous tram. On the finish now, that, that spicy, peppery thing has gone on all the way through to the finish. A little bit of dark fruit, a little bit of dried fruit, maybe a little bit of dried apricot. Definitely some berry fruit, definitely some blackberry. That licorice is lingering into the finish. Wow. So nice. It's fruity. It's got a real nice fruity finish. Wow. Wonderful. Well done. Lovely piece of work from the Springbank Distillery. Well done, Hazel Bob. Well done, Springbank. What would we score this one, folks? I've got no hesitation. I'm quite happy to score this one in 89 out of 100. It has everything you'd expect. Yes, it's £70. It's 12-year-old. It's £70. Is it starting to get pricey at Springbank? I think for the quality of the whiskey that you're getting, I would, I'm quite happy to pay the £70 for this one, so the £70 is not an issue. Quality, it's great quality. It's beautiful sherry dram. It's beautifully oloroso matured. Wonderful, wonderful piece of work. Is it the best hazel bond I've ever had? Is it the best hazel bond? Limited edition I've had, Oloroso. Maybe not. I have scored some of them higher. Some of the older ones, maybe the 13s and the 14s, I think I've scored a bit higher. But this is, for me, this is perfect at 89. So that's pretty much. It's 89 out of 100 for this one, folks. Just a quick one. I'm not too sure what's coming up next. I'm sure there'll be something nice and tasty and interesting coming up. But I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend. Until the next one, guys, don't forget to send some great whiskey down the hatch. And always remember, the pleasure is in the sharing, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheers now.